Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on similar shapes. Uh, this is a second video on this topic, uh, so if you haven't seen the first one, make sure you watch that first. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be looking at area and volume scale factors. Uh, so if I draw two similar shapes here, I'm going to use squares because it's nice and easy. Uh, so these two shapes are mathematically similar. Uh, so the one on the right is just the scaled up version of the one on the left. Uh, and if I just pick two random lengths, so let's say two and four, let's say they're in centimetres, um, then the scale factor uh, will be four divided by two. Uh, so we can work out the length of any of the sides on the bigger shape by knowing what the scale factor is and knowing what the corresponding length is on the smaller shape. So if our scale factor is four divided by two, then the scale factor is two. Uh, but then suppose we wanted to know what the area scale factor was. So the area scale factor we'll call SF with a uh, subscript A. Uh, then we get that uh, by squaring the linear scale factor, uh, which is the scale factor we found for the length. Uh, so therefore the area scale factor is four. Um, and then finally, if we wanted to work out what the volume scale factor was, so if we had a cube, for instance, or two cubes, like so, uh, then the volume in one and the volume in the other, we could find out the uh, volume scale factor by doing the, uh, the cube of the linear scale factor, which would give us eight. So uh, to summarize, if you want to find the area scale factor, SFA, uh, then you just square the linear scale factor. And if you want to find the volume scale factor, SFV, you uh, cube the linear scale factor. So let's have a look at an example question now. So A and B are mathematically similar shapes. Calculate the area of shape A. Uh, well, first of all, let's calculate the linear scale factor. So the scale factor equals 28 divided by seven, uh, because those are corresponding side lengths. Uh, so that gives us a scale factor of four. Uh, so that's for any lengths. Uh, and then we know that the area scale factor, SFA, is the square of the linear scale factor. So in this case, it's four squared, which equals 16. Uh, so uh, we want to find the area of the smaller shape, which means we have to divide the area of the larger shape by our area scale factor, which is 16. So the area of A equals 320 divided by 16, which equals 20. Uh, and then the, the units of the area will be centimeters squared uh, because that's the same units that are given in the question. Let's take a look at a second example now. So A and B are mathematically similar shapes. The volume of shape A is 600 meters cubed. Calculate the volume of shape B. Uh, well, because they're mathematically similar shapes, we know that this length along the bottom of A uh, maps onto this length along the bottom of B. So the scale factor is 22 divided by 11, which is just two. Uh, and then we need to work out what the volume of B is, so we need the volume scale factor. So the volume scale factor is the linear scale factor cubed, so that's two cubed, which is eight. And then all we have to do uh, to get the volume of B is times the volume of A, which is 600 meters cubed, by the volume scale factor, which is eight. So the volume of B equals 600 times eight, which equals 4,800 meters cubed. So if you'd like to get some more practice with similar shapes and scale factors, you can have a practice with our online exam. Uh, if you click the link below, it'll take you straight there. You'll find lots of different questions. Uh, so some will be multiple choice. Some will require you to just put an answer straight in. Uh, so lots of different questions to have a go at. Uh, you get instant feedback on each and every one. Uh, so if you click the link below, as I say, it will take you straight there.